to the channel and my name is Manish Tiwari. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about scenario based QNS interview questions. And particularly, we are going to talk about five interview questions that I used to ask. And let's start with the first question itself. The first question is related to your application slowness. So as you can see in the question itself, your team reports that your application is running slow and users are experiencing high response time. So how will you solve this particular problem? That's the question, correct? So when your application is slow, like it's responding, but it's slow, correct? That's the use case over here. That's the problem. So what you will do? The first point is you will check for the resource utilization where there is a enough number of CPU allocated uh, to this particular pod is, is there or not, whether the particular memory is there or not, according to the your deployment cell, correct? Whatever is assigned, that is enough or not. Or your pod which is assigned to the node, that particular node has enough number of resources or not, correct? So that you can check. Then you will check uh, with the kubectl describe commands if there is anything uh, which you can check, correct, related to your resources or if you have enabled any liveness or readiness kind of thing so is that working fine or there is any kind of failure that you can check you can check for the logs as well with the help of the command this gives it your logs command and then uh, using the pod name or the pod id you can check for the logs if there are any particular error in your uh, application log if there is any api which is not working properly that is taking much time or it's getting blocked somewhere based on certain condition that you can check then if you want to get into this uh, your pod correct then you can uh, run this capacity like jack command then uh, hyphen it and which will uh, open you interactive cell and then you will be passing the pod name and then whatever the curl command you want to run that you can do either the ping or the curl command that you can run and with the help of this capacity commands you can verify whether the things are properly configured or not that way you can check and you can uh, fix the problem even you can use this kubectl describe command to check the node related details correct moving forward second question is you have deployed your one of nginx web server in k and your pod is running fine but application is not accessible it's similar to like when you are trying to hit abc.com in your browser we have talked earlier as well in the other interview question and now you are facing that 403 access uh, 403 error code is coming 503 internal server kind of error is coming so how will you verify so the first thing is you check for the your pod whether your pod is running fine or it's uh, like it's failing correct that you can check then you check with the kubectl describe command check the any uh, details which you have configured related to the pod whether these configurations are okay or not whether the enough number of resources are available at for the pod or not then you can check for the services as well whether the services which are supposed to route your traffic up to the port those services are correctly configured or not whether the traffic traffic is coming from the your ingress to the particular service or and it's going to the port or not the port which you have specified that port is working fine or not correct that you can see here we have talked about check the service and port mapping ensure the correct port is exposed and matches the ports container port as well so that you can check then you can check on the network policies as well moving forward you can check for the ingress uh, in the namespace and nginx ingress correct where you have deployed your ingress uh, file as well then third question is you have done a deployment but after the deployment you face that your deployment is not working correct the new upgrade is not working correctly it's getting failed so what you can do the first step is you do the rollout whatever chain deployment you have done you have to roll out and you have to make it as undo card correct so that the there is no downtime kind of thing for the end user the thing should be working till the time you fix the things correct so you will do the kubectl rollout undo deployment and you whatever the application name you do have that you can run then check for the history what you will do you will check what has changed from the previous version to the new version for that you will be using this command kubectl rollout history and you will see complete details about that then for moving forward you can use this kubectl log command and then you can check for the readiness and liveness probes related details as well 
and you can check whether the condition what you have specified like path or any other API endpoint that you have configured and that API endpoint is working fine or not. If there is any init container kind of thing which needs to be uh, run properly without before your main container runs. So whether that init container is working fine or not that uh, all these things you can check. Even you can check for the image pool issue as well. Uh, whether like wherever you have stored your uh, images either on the ECR or the Docker Hub or any uh, registry your images are being pulled properly or not or if there is any permission related issues. So that you can check and verify and then you can troubleshoot for your application uh, like after the deployment when your application is not coming up that you can check. Moving forward your fourth question is you have a running uh, microservice and that is not getting connected with your external database that can be your AWS RDS or any other uh, databases correct which is outside of your cluster so how will you fix that the similar way what we talked earlier uh, one in one of the second question we talked about kubectl exact, uh, exact command correct in the first question itself sorry so that you will do and uh, within that uh, pod you can run this curl command with the host of your database including the 5432 port if you have postgres correct then you can do the NST lookup look up for the checking of your network connectivity. Then you can similarly go for the network policy and you can check whether the network is there in network policy is the root cause which is denying your traffic to go up to the database correct that way you can check. Your four, fifth question is you have some of the ports which is in the pending state correct you see that 0 by 3 nodes are available this kind of issues you uh, might have encountered most of the time 0 by 3 nodes are available insufficient CPU and memory so how will you troubleshoot this correct so for this check cluster resource availability look for high CPU and memory usage use the commands the similar kind of commands kubectl describe node you will check the resource utilization which is uh, allocated how much resource is allocated how much left and all these things for the memory related things, uh, if you have worked with the Linux server, you know the top commands will say, uh, show you all the details related to your memory. So that you can check uh, with the kubectl top nodes command and you will see the resource details. Then you can use the pod related, uh, the same command for the pod as well, kubectl top pods, hyphen f1 all namespaces. Then if there is a requirement of scaling down, correct? So you can scale down non-essential workloads to free of resources. So if there is any deployment or the pod which are running and those are not required. So you can scale down and this uh, scaling down will re, uh, free up the few of the resources which can be consumed for your newer pods which will come up correct. And then your pods will be assigned to any of the nodes because there will be enough resources to allocate uh, your pods to the different nodes correct. So these are the five questions which uh, are based on the some scenarios that you will encounter during your interview whenever you will appear correct. So stay tuned with the channel and subscribe to the channel for such more technical content till the time thank you happy learning.